another great day and what a day to go out for a drive in a 2021 Explorer Limited hybrid in iconic silver with black leather trim seats seating for six and this has four doors and a hatch. This has a 3.3 litre hybrid engine, a 10 speed modular automatic transmission and it's a four wheel drive. It also has a twin panel moonroof, class three trailer tow hitch, dual exhaust, reverse camera with backup sensors. And it's really easy to take this vehicle out on a test drive. You can book it online at islandford.ca and stay tuned. We're gonna have a look under the hood and inside and out. This is a 3.3 liter hybrid engine. It's got a 10 speed modular automatic transmission and it's a four wheel drive. Let's take a look inside. Storage and speaker in the door, as well as power locks, windows, and mirrors. You also have memory for three drivers, and the driver's seat is powered with lumbar. And down below, you're seeing that two times a pull. So for your hood release, you just pull it two times, and then you can lift the hood right up, no searching around. You've got these nice all-weather mats on the floor. There's your lift gate release, gas cap, lighting controls. You've got power tilt and telescoping steering wheel. And this is really good because depending on your height or your comfort level, you can adjust uh, your steering wheel up or down or in and out. And you also have paddle shifters, minus and the plus here on either side. You've got your cruise control, your volume, the menu, as well as hands-free dialing. And this is a push start. So my foot's in the brake, keys in the pocket. And we're gonna push the engine start stop button. On your dash, any important messages will appear. And this is a hybrid, so whisper quiet. That's why you're seeing the ready to drive. You've got, just press okay, you'll get your menu. And you can go in there and select the screens, audio, navigation, phone, settings, display setup. And these all have sub menus. And in the center, you've got your display screen. Now there's a red line across there. That's just a protective cover. You can touch on this screen for different things. Your sources, AM, FM, Sirius satellite radio, as well as Bluetooth. You've got your navigation map and you notice that you had that in your menu as well. So you've got a couple of different places that you can access it and you'll see it again when we go into settings. And then when we put the vehicle in reverse, you're gonna see your backup camera view. And I really like this view. One, it shows you as you turn your steering wheel, those white lines, exactly where you're gonna go because sometimes you're turning and you're like, how close am I to this? Am I gonna hit it? The green, yellow, red tell you how close you are to, to that object as you reverse. So you're getting closer, closer. So if you're in a parking spot or somebody's behind you, you can tell um, how close you are to them. And then this view gives you how close you are in the lines um, for setting yourself up, straightening yourself out, or just how close you are to the curb or any other object. So I really like that. We're gonna put us back in park. That's just for safety sake. And the screen's gonna go back. We're just gonna go back home here. We'll go into settings and we can slide through. So you can see things like Bluetooth, your phone, um, automatic updates, display. You can make all these changes. Uh, navigation, ambient lighting, those are all in there too. So you can choose where you wanna make the adjustments or um, access. So it gives you a couple of different things. And then you have as well your wireless charging pad. And actually this is where you just put items and the wireless charging pad is down below. And it's where your USB, USB-C and 12 volt are located. And you can just close that right up. There's your volume and tuner. There are your hazard lights, parking sensors, and you've got your camera. So you've got the different view. And as well, you've got heated and cooled seats, a heated steering wheel, and you've got the digital display. So the dual climate control as well, the AC and max AC. And as well, you've got your front and rear defrost. And then you've got your dial shifter. And as I showed you in there, that's where your charging is located. You've got your electronic parking brake auto hold. So if you're on, on an incline or if you're towing, you would use that. Drive mode, you can dial through for that and it'll appear on the dash. And I'm just gonna show you normal, eco, sport, tow haul. And then we can go back around. And it's just turning the dial here. There's your traction control, it looks like a little snail. And there's your hill descent. A couple of cup holders and those rings, that's the ambient lighting. Your armrest opens up and there's a little bin and down below is a 12 volt. And so I made a mistake there. I'll just point this out. There's where your wireless charging pad is. Sorry, it's a little dark in there and sometimes they put them there, but it's located right there and you see the bolt. So you know, lightning bolt. 
So you know that's your charger, it's a wireless charging pad. So that's where you would charge. Don't stick it in there, it won't charge in there. Your glove compartment, and up above is your auto dimming rear view mirror, universal garage door opener, lighting controls, sunglass holder, and you have a, a twin panel powered moonroof as well as screen. And that's what these buttons are for. You just push the button and it'll open it right up. You can get some fresh air. You can bring the screen across if you'd like. And there's a grab handle on the body. That just makes it easier to get in. 20 inch wheels, mud flaps, chrome and body colored handle with intelligent access. So when the fob's in close proximity, you can lock and unlock the doors and keyless entry keypad, driver side, capless, easy fuel gas filler. Now this is a hybrid, so it uses both a lithium ion battery, regenerative braking for that. And you also have the fuel source. And in the back, you've got a little bit of a spoiler, the windshield wiper and below the Explorer badges where your backup camera's located, backup sensors on your bumper, dual exhaust, and you also have a four and seven pin connect connector and a class three trailer tow hitch. Now, when you wanna open up that hatch, you can do it from either inside or you can double click your fob. There's also a little arrow to the right of the R on the Explorer and you can press there if you want and that'll open it right up. You can see these two seats in the back with a 50-50 split and it's powered and you've got your controls here left right or both of them go down you've got a light 12 volt and you've got the bin underneath which i really like it's got an all-weather mat there you've also got a cargo uh, net down below and you've got these little tabs on either side so you can expand this space or um, close it right up to hide things out of the way which is really nice and you've got tabs and clips to be able to tether things and then when you want to close it all up you can use your fob you can also use your foot by giving it a kick or you can push the button. This is um, foot activated as well as hands free. So if your hands are full or you're just feeling playful, you can close it up that way or open it that way. And then when you're ready, just close it up, lock it up and walk away or jump in and head out on your latest adventure. And on your fob, you have remote start. Storage and speaker in the, in the door as well as power windows. You've also got this nice screen. So if it's a really bright day, you can put these up to block out the sun. There's a grab handle on the body. You have all weather mats on the floor and you have extra carpeted mats. And in this row, you've got two captain seats. Now you've got a couple of different ways that you can move the seats forward and out of the way. There's a bar to the front, so you can slide them forwards and backwards. You've got your handle at the bottom and you've also got the button located here and that just brings the seat forward and then you can just slide it out of the way. You now have access to the two seats in the back and they're 50-50 split and you've got a little bit of a bin there and you've got also this nice all weather mat on the floor to keep everything clean. On the back of the seats are anchors to be able to tether baby seats and then it's easy to just push the seat back into the regular seated position and you've got your armrests there. You can put those up. In the center, you've got a bin with a couple of cup holders. And in the center console there, you've got your climate control, heated seats. It's got two little red seats there, USB, USB-C, and a 110 volt. Grab handle on the other side, hooks and lighting, and that panoramic twin panel moonroof. Foot activated, hands-free lift gate, privacy glass in the back windows, mud flaps, roof rails, heated and dual power side view mirrors with blind spot information system. Your tail lights are LEDs and your headlights are auto high beams with fog lights, also front sensors, and so many more reasons to visit us. If you like this video and would like to see more, please subscribe. We love to share everything that we filmed and of course we love to hear your comments.